Let's talk about write and delete operations in this lesson. Write and delete operations follow similar patterns and that's why it's better to discuss them together. Let's take an example to understand how a write operation works. Imagine we have a cluster of three nodes. Each of the node has few shards stored in it. Now let's say a client has sent a document with ID document1 to node1. Since node1 received this request from the client, so it will be the originating node in this case. Node 1 will compute the shard ID based on the node ID received. Let's say shard ID is also 1. So the next item that node 1 has to do is to find out the node where the primary shard with ID 1 is stored on and it will come up with node 2 as the answer in this case. As you can see, P1 is stored on node 2. The node 1 will forward the write operation received from client to node 2 to process it. Node 2 will store the document on shard P1 and in parallel also send sync request to all its replica shards. In this case, it's R1 on node 3. If replica mode is set for synchronization acknowledgement, the node 2 will wait for node 3 to send an acknowledgement that the replica R1 is updated successfully. Once node 2 receives the response, it will send acknowledgement back to node 1 saying the whole operation is complete. Same way in delete operation, the flow will be quite similar, except that the document on primary shard will be marked to be deleted by Elasticsearch later and all replicas will be sent a sync request as done in write operation. Make sure you understand this that in write and delete operations, the request is sent to the primary shard of that document. We will see how it works in read operation in next section.